with a yo-ho-ho, it's the tail of the toaster. And no, this is not a video about my floor. This is a video about a very special cartridge of the first Inazuma 11 game, or at least part of it. You see, Inazuma 11 as a series is now over 13 years old, and I wanted to take a look at the very, very beginning, to the point where the series has not even actually begun yet. This is a demo cartridge for Inazuma 11, version 1.0, before the game's even released, this demo goes up to Royal Academy and it contains a ton of version differences compared to the final thing. It's also got a demo for Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Did those two games release in the same year? I'm not too sure, but one certainly became more popular than the other. But here on the front cover, the focus is all on Inazuma 11. Layton's just off to the side. This was level 5 premium silver. I don't know how you were meant to get a hold of one of these demo carts. I got mine uh, secondhand on Baiyi, but I know there were two different versions of this released, version 0.2 and version 0.3. Which one do I have? I've not a clue, but uh, there are differences. But ultimately, if we have a look on the inside, you get a look at a cartridge, copyright 2007. Japanese, but there is no region lock on the DS, so we can play this on the actual capture board. And even on the instruction manual, looks very basic on the outside, but then have a flick through, and every single page is basically just pure Inazuma 11. I'm trying to film this with, with one hand, if you can't tell. Not the easiest thing in the world, but full of artwork. Basically, just they might as well have just put in a zoomer on the front of it because it's pretty much an Inazuma manual on the inside. But what I want to do is stick the cartridge into the capture board and get playing this thing. So enjoy the very, very first version of the Inazuma 11 game ever. So here we are in the 3DS menu. And the cartridge says, uh, whatever that's called, that is just the level 5 logo on the cart itself. But let's dive in. I am not the first YouTuber uh, to actually cover Inazuma 11.0, as it's kind of unofficially called, the demo cart. Uh, it has been covered on YouTube before, but never on the actual cartridge. So hopefully this will run as smooth as butter. So here we are in level 5 Premium Silver, version 1.0. We have... The choice between a big old Inazuma 11 thing, Level 5 presents a new soccer RPG. Man, there's just uh, a tiny little Professor Layton's London Holiday down there. I wonder if that's a slightly different story that's not actually found with any, <laughs> within any of the main Layton games. Well, it's a shame that we wouldn't be able to read it, <laughs> as case in point. I'm being told something in Japanese right now. I don't know what it says, but I am here within the earliest, most primal form of Inazuma 11. Let's listen. Inazuma 11! Inazuma 11! And there's a question mark on the end, um, but I'm hoping that's gonna be the right thing. We get the the OG art of everybody. Jude's kinda of hanging out with everyone, even though he's still in his royal kit at this point. Look at that artwork of the Inazuma 1, so flat from everybody. Uh, this is teaching us how to play in the game, of course, but it's been 13 years now. Thankfully, I do know it's advertising the uh, multiplayer features. Not advertising, but you know. But let's have a look within the game itself. We've got a new song. Full credit to the T-Pistons. Rio, <laughs> Rio. I kind of have to sing over it, otherwise I'd probably get copyright struck. But this is a whole trailer uh, for the game. Look at this. Sam's going for a shot. That's pretty far away. It's good enough though. Sam's the OG. Yeah, this song, it certainly was never dubbed into English. Uh, it's the earliest Inazuma 11 song before even Tachiya Garyo itself. What was it actually used for? Um, <laughs> not honestly too sure. It's used for this trailer, that's something. 
But I know it's available on YouTube for, for everyone to listen to. Just gotta know uh, what to call it. Something ending in Rio. <laughs> so this is again teaching us how to play the game. Uh, thankfully, I'm on point with all of that because in the year 2021, for various videos I've made like the Inazuma 11 Iceberg and the Jude Game Breaking Glitch from the Japanese first version of the game, I have already had to beat the original game twice this year. Um, but that's still nothing on the amount of times poor old streamers like TXM Tom Spores have to beat it uh, on their streams. But yes, we'll get past the trailer in a moment and then it will take us into some actual gameplay. And you can see just how subtly different it is to the actual rest of the game. There's a new animation, for example, on Joseph King, getting overpowered by the Inazuma drop. We won't be doing the Inazuma drop in this gameplay, but... We'll score some goals, won't we? So that wasn't actually the right button for me to press. I was meant to go for the one in the middle <laughs> to, to actually break into the demo, but it's fine. We'll do that. So we've got the whole anime cutscene. Is this going to be any different from before? It's surely not. You don't just reanimate something on a whim. But then again, it also felt kind of unfamiliar, but now we're really seeing that original Japanese art style. Now what's different here? So Mark's icon looks very different to how it does in the English language version of the game, but that's not down to the demo card. The sprites did actually look like this in the official release of Inazuma 11 in Japan. It was only changed in the European release because it was actually taking the sprites from Inazuma 11 too. So that's why Mark looks completely different. But the text boxes, now that is demo exclusive. Not just the text box designs, but also the sound that plays as the text plays out. Completely different. Uh, I kind of think it's better, but maybe that's just me not being used to... or being too used to the other. Mark's sprite, though, that looks different. And that little jingle for objectives, that was long gone. That was really, really cheery. Um, it seems that I can't run. There are no touchscreen controls. Uh, I, I seem to be very eight directional movement right now and yeah have to walk it oh and he's barged straight through Todd who also looks completely different Royal Academy's here already we're cut into the chase I think that's probably done on purpose for the sake of keeping the demo short rather than uh, it actually being a planned thing for the original game but yeah, we get the full cutscene, a kind of cut down version. That's Jude before he's willing to be our friend. Our friend. <laughs> I don't know, I guess he'd bring Sanford along eventually. Something in Todd's voice. Something in Nathan's voice. Twice. Something in Mark Evans' voice. That's a nice, uh, I've not actually seen that happy sprite before though. <laughs> Todd looks so deflated though. It's brilliant. Here comes Sylvia. The models are just so much thinner. I think that's the main difference. Uh, a lot of work's gone into the into the hair as well. But we will... Hear that iconic jingle. That one didn't change. We'll head down the stairs. After the long lost jingle. It's really quite nice that one as well. Uh, the arrow on the top screen that's telling us where to go looks different. Look at Todd's eyes! They're so large! And then turn him around and, and not quite. Sylvia just uh, telling us where to go. Oh. Okay. Uh, Mark barricading me from going any further. Do I go that way around you? Don't tell me I'm going to struggle on the demo disc. <laughs> disc? It's not even a disc. Oh, I'm clearly struggling very much. Um, okay, so I've got to do something here. The arrow tells me to get to the stairs at the top left, but Sylvia will not let me pass. And I can't even run to speed this process up. Who are you? You've got a sprite. Apparently, you're who we needed to talk to because we wouldn't leave our friend in the locker, would we? Again, very much abridging the opening of the game. Come on, Jack, come with us. <laughs> Don't get left behind. His sprite's probably the one that changed the least while still actually changing. Anyway, we don't have to take down the, the rugby club to get him out of the locker this time. With that, Jack, we will now carry on with the demo. <laughs> 
at the da 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 with uh, with his jingle. We need to bring this back. How can we get that jingle back into the Inner Zoom Eleven franchise? It deserves it. I'm just telling you though, like the arrow on the top screen, very dis. Don't tell me I can't go on again. Okay, I had to talk to Sylvia to go down the stairs this time. Clearly, the arrow should have been pointing at the locker. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, should we go get Molly Wop by Royal Academy? この試合のため寄せ集められた大門中学の宮笠カーブは天才ゲーム名家木戸優と率いる最強の軍団帝国学園に勝ち目のない無謀な戦いを挑むことになってしまっただけどそこには誰も予測できない意外な結末が待ってい
Nevertheless, we can take a shot with Axel Blaze. Fire Tornado! Let's see if it can actually go in in this demo. It can! It's so slow in pushing past his hands. Well, alright, so we're allowed to just kind of win against Royal Academy in this demo. So this is more, this is less of an Inazuma 11 demo, and it's more of an alternate world Inazuma 11, where actually you just win the first match against Royal Academy, the team goes through no hardships whatsoever, Axel is just kind of your friend from the beginning, and then you win the Football Frontier as normal, but David Sanford doesn't get into the FFI because his team officially sucks now. And uh, Jordan Greenway becomes the main player. Anyway, so we just <laughs> bounce the ball off the opponent. Kevin just did fire tornado. <laughs> I guess they wanted to save the surprise of Dragon Crash for the final game, huh? So they just gave him fire tornado. Meanwhile, we fired up. Um, that wasn't something I did on purpose, that's just a general trait of Inazuma 11 1, even in the final game in Japanese. Uh, in the European version you would fire up by holding LRR for two seconds and then manually get its benefits like lower TP costs and stronger shots. But in the Japanese game it just kind of happens at random when the game feels like, yeah I think these players would be feeling pretty fired up right now, sometimes after a goal or when you fall behind, something like that. Um, and that's what just happened to us in the demo. But unfortunately here in the demo, we don't get the music for Fired Up, which, need I remind you, in Inazuma 11.1, is the best Fired Up music in the series. <laughs> Sorely missed. Anyway, I guess we're gonna get another Fire Tornado. How do I do a Fire Tornado in Kevin's voice? Wait, we've got two moves. I think I clicked the left when I used the move for the first time, so I'm gonna click the right now. Oh, we've got Inazuma Drop with Kevin! <laughs> Sorry, Axel, we're just taking all this from you, but it's fine. We're doing the blue move so that when King lets it pass... Uh, he didn't do the failure animation, but we still beat it. Okay, so this is going a little bit better than I expected. Look at that Beta Gus Martin sprite from the side. The hair clearer than ever. Um, so with us being 3-0 up, I'm not interested in just purely dominating these guys. It's not about winning, it's about showing off the, the game in the first place. So let's actually let them take a shot. Well, alright. <laughs> they passed to Timmy and I had to go for a flurry dash, but we'll pass it back to them. I'm, I'm really, really quite trying to, to give the ball to Royal Academy so that they can take a shot and we can see... Uh, if there's any differences, but I guess we'll wait until the second half because I'm kind of out of time to do that now. Max making a last ditch effort. Back to Sam. There we go, half time. Yeah, so um, this Royal Academy team's a bit of a joke, isn't it? <laughs> until Dave Sanford, who's twice the size of our players, just comes in for a word. Um, yes, 29 possession on Teikoko. So I will stand aside. You can't skip that animation here in the demo. You've got to watch it. C come on, I'm, I'm actively trying to not win now. I guess I was fired off. That maybe means something. Go on, take it from me. I picked the worst option on the on the on the left hand side so that I would be less successful in the tackle. There we go. So stand aside, Jack. What? Well, he's shooting from very far away. Not an Emperor Penguin number two or a Death Zone, that's a shame. Yeah, the only real difference here is is just Mark's sprite, and I think it looks like that in the final release anyway. Just, it gets done again for future ones. Jack has a dribble already. Oh no, we, we weren't in the dribbling position. Well, <laughs> down you go, Jude. Now, we will pass back to Jude, though, because surely if he's... If anyone's going to show us a special move, it's going to be him. I will let this one through. Well, I would have, but if he's only going to do a regular shot, then we can't even let him score on purpose. I, I, Te Coco, I know you're a demo, 
but I'm trying to do everything in my power to give you the ability to win, but they're just not up for it. Fine then, let's go for a pure outrun. Steve Handa is going to be my striker for today. Jim's on a mad one. Authentic Steve versus Gus Martin gameplay. Truly, who is the bigger meme? Alright, so only when I start trying <laughs> do they actually authentically get a shot of their own. Well, no more god hands, unless... There's no way they'd give Mark another move already. Like, Kevin seemed to unlock in a Zuma draw. They, he got it past me! And they missed the goal! And they fired up off the back of it. But it didn't even matter. Uh, I went into the menu to see if I could access anything unique there. But no, the answer was no. So, no, still just God Hand. They don't want to spoil something as major as triple defense. And here we go. They're just not going to do any special moves. Well, that's fine. Uh, Nathan, we've already seen a bit of Flurry Dash. Are there any other possible differences here in this demo uh, that we could uncover? I'm not sure if there's any differences between the two. Um, demo carts that were released. I mentioned in the in the cold open, you could call it, that there was a version 0.2 and there was a version 0.3. I don't know if those differ from any others because I don't even know which one I owned. I just bought it on Baye and then it came with a whole collector's edition of Nino Cooney. So that was one of the better purchases I've made in my life, all things considered. Um, I, I, finally, he's going for a twin boost. And it's exactly the same, but hey, gives us some kind of challenge. Can we actually stop it? Yes, we can. Oh, I wish the fired up music was going on right now, but hey, we've got four minutes left. Let's <laughs> pass straight back to <laughs> he, he scored. That's what I wanted to hear. It only took them all match, but they finally got us. They got one in the back of the net. Torzensa. All right, well, Kevin, have you, like, unlocked a third move by now? There's no way. Surely not, right? Doesn't seem like we're going to get the opportunity. Royal Academy have upped their game. We are no longer fired up. Ooh! A mid-air catch animation! Have I just forgotten about that one entirely, or is that demo exclusive? I do not know, but the match is over. Well, this has been fun. I I do wonder if I could explore the overworld and find anything else hidden. Maybe I'll have a second run through the demo and see what we can uncover. Um, but that's it. Uh, Ryman have defeated Royal Academy with the help of a very cooperative Axel Blaze, and the rest of the story never happened. L at least the football club didn't get demolished. これが俺たちライモンサッカー部のデビュー戦となった。しかしこの時俺たちはまだ帝国学園の本当の恐ろしさに気づいてはいなかったんだ。こうしてライモンイレブンの伝説は始まったのである。Continued in the full game, which if you haven't already bought yet, uh, probably should go and do that. Oh, look at this. I want to see fan art of those guys, the Inazuma 11 tutorial people. <laughs> oh, I love Inazuma 11. Do you know what? It's even letting me click on the multiplayer option for the demo, which is kind of remarkable. Obviously, I have no one to connect to, but it's nice that they gave me the option. Is there anything else that we can do? Let's click the bottom one here on the demo now. Oh, so that just skips straight to the match. So the top option lets me go through the story and explore the overworld. And then the second one is a jump to match feature so that you can just carry on enjoying the good gameplay of, of the series. Um, it's all right, we'll sign off in a bit. But I'm going to do one last check through the story uh, to see if I can find anything else. 
So unsurprisingly, you cannot go to the club room, it's just not an area that exists, and even <laughs> the pitch just south of here is not even something that you can get to. But our chance to see Jim, Sprite, and it is exactly the same. Don't know what else I was possibly expecting. Sam, I think, is the other character whose sprite is the same. Well, maybe it is a different gym sprite, it's just not that different. Um, so yeah, the pitch is just kind of down off sight. You can, you can see it, but you can't get to it. And then uh, Todd's just telling me, Oi, stop messing about! Talk to Axel and then we can start the match! Well, you know what? May maybe I won't. Maybe, to end this video, I'll just play some Professor Layton's London Holiday instead. But thank you everyone for watching. This was a really, really fun video to make. Um, thanks uh, to Tatsunami for teaching me about the two different versions of the game. Thank you to Baiyi for being a store that I could actually buy the physical cartridge from. And to all of you guys for watching. Happy anniversary to Inazuma 11. I know at the time of uploading that will have been ages ago, but I am recording this on the 13th anniversary of Inazuma 11, which is pretty nice. Just, I couldn't release this video <laughs> on that day because getting the cartridge out of my parcel was part of the Baiyi video that had to come out first. But hey, I'm gonna play some Leighton. Bye guys. Oh, I'm just noticing. Professor Layton and Inazuma 11 have exactly the same text scroll sounds. Huh. I guess that's why they changed it, huh?